basically a lot of people have been saying keluarga Malaysia, keluarga Malaysia, what, what, what does it mean? We are a multiracial country, definitely we have everyone in the country and we want everyone to be together and equal. Surely, That's why keluarga yeah. Malaysia is being louded out there. And we're going to talk about that uh, exclusively today to two of our esteemed guests. And wonderful who are they, guests. Erin? Wonderful <laughs> guests. Yes. Who are and they, Erin? We have here uh, Kokila Bani Wadivelu, who's a lawyer yeah. and also Associate Prof. Dr. Sue Winsi, singing a lecture. Hi. I'm pretty sure you <laughs> may know already two of these remarkable women we have on the show. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty sure you guys know them. <laughs> so, hello, everyone. Uh, hi. Both of you guys. How hi. You guys I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Irene. Hi, yeah. hi, hi, Nabil. Yeah. You know? Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you for spending your morning with us. Thank you so much. So apparently the traffic today has been quite mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 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 we were just talking quite about a bad it. situation. <laughs> yes, yes, Prof just parade. made me actually buy her nasi kerabu yeah. today. So, you know, we, we are, are we included in the deal? Definitely, definitely. It's, you we know, are, it's, I know some people, some people behind the cameras, America. and some yeah. people behind the scene as well. They're all, all, everyone, yeah, okay. everyone. Ah, semua belajar makan. Semua, semua. Kan keluarga. Well, obviously the country yes. is definitely prepping up for the parade. Yes, and yes. that's why we are seeing uh, some traffic disruptions in the past yeah. few days. Um, okay. First up, let's mm. go with what does Kelarga Malaysia mean to each and everyone? Wow. Maybe we can start with... Uh, uh, sure. Um, yeah. I guess Kelarga Malaysia is uh, regardless of racial, religion, you know, uh, we unite as one, as mm. Malaysian, right? Actually, for your information, it's been five years I've not been back celebrating Mereka. I was oh. doing my second master and PhD in overseas. <laughs> so I remember every time, you know, whenever there's Mereka time and whatever, all those like this few years we know is a bit grim because of the COVID and stuff. Mm. But the thing is, Kuala Malaysia, it's, you know, um, the, the further I, I go, the more I miss Malaysia. Mm. Because only Malaysia can see so many colours of people. And also you can see people, you know, in, in, you know, enjoying the food and everything. And I guess that Malaysian really fought hard over mm -hmm. this so many years mm -hmm. and we unite as one and I can see that younger generation are also you know bucking up and everything so it's been a kind of different path and we've been been through a lot of wave but uh, it just kind of goes stronger yeah mm -hmm. I see. Yes. Okay. That's interesting. How about you, Kokila? I, I, I think I'm with Prof on this. But mm. uh, what I think I would like to take back is especially something as recent as the COVID mm. since we are all with that. You know, I think uh, what really brought and that Kluarga Malaysia is actually you taking care of your yeah. family. Mm. How you will take care of your neighbours like yeah. family, you know, really. And I think that really stepped up during COVID and even the floods. Mm. I come from mm. Selangor. Mm. Uh, so the floods was really, I mean, we were affected quite badly with the floods as well. And with the with the white flag movement and, and, and everything that Bandara wow. Puteh and, and all that, it showed how we actually take this Kluarga Malaysia notion seriously. Mm. And, yeah. and I think that was just absolutely Absolutely fantastic. Um, of course, for me, it's always been like, 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 like uh, Prof just said. For me, it's been a great thing. You know, like I think every Malaysian, uh, like every Merdeka day, I still go out at the eve of Merdeka to mm. shout Merdeka and put up flag in my yeah, house. Right? I still do it. I still do it. <laughs> you COVID do. or not COVID, I wow. still do it. I yeah. know. I know because it's something yeah. so close to my heart. You it know, is, yeah. and and I think uh, especially like how doctor was saying when mm. you're away, because I, I uh, when we're studying away. Mm. That's why when you realize, you felt it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be because you, the 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 unity, you know, yeah. people actually do not understand how rich we are in exactly. our culture. Mm. Yeah. You know, we 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 we. we we are people envy us, you know. It is. Uh, Irene, people, people do, yes. people do. People think like, how is it that three different major races mm -hmm. could all come together with their difference of culture, yeah. race, and their religion, yeah. but yet be such good friends? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, so. What I, uh, for me, I, I think um, yes, COVID was there and all that. But what all this this calamities actually showed us is that we. It's truly, you know, at the at the face of adversity, we become yeah. stronger. Wow. So yeah, I I truly truly understand because I mm. feel when you mentioned about um, how COVID actually when when we were hit by the pandemic, yeah. I think that was something that really taught us as how we could really stand together and how uh, we can really move forward in our own nation. Even though, like you mentioned, Kokila, three major races, mm. but wow, we can still be in unity and still be in harmony. Mm. And um, I actually want to ask, since we are here, <laughs> the, what is your most favorite thing about Malaysia? Maybe we can uh, start with... Wow, that. most favorite thing. <laughs> Definitely the most food. Lot. Food, food. <laughs> the food. The food you can't find in anywhere in overseas, trust mm. me. And, and 
and the food and also the food it represents a lot of things because you get like you know the Indian food, the Chinese food, and mm -hmm. Melayu, and then Nyonya ada, Mama mm -hmm. ada. Mm -hmm. So all those things is like you can't find in anywhere at all. So a lot of times uh, that's the unique. If I want to choose, definitely food, and I cook as well. So I know that spices and stuff you get everything in back in Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So it's food for it's you. Food for me. It's for you, right? <laughs> it's for you. How about you, Kokila? Oh, yeah. oh dear, she just took a. I know. I know. I think first. <laughs> But no, but I, I think for me it's the culture. Yeah. Okay, um, um, food, yes. I mean, that, that, that goes without saying we win, you know. But I think it's the culture. You know, mm. it's amazing the, the amount of culture. And, yeah. and uh, I, I noticed like um, how we always... Uh, are sensitive to our friends, mm. you know, uh, of different race. Mm. You know, we we'll always ask them, is this okay for us to eat? Is this yeah. uh, food is okay? And the mm. dietary requirements, we make sure it's halal and all that. Mm. And the culture when it comes to that as well. You know, and, and, and I like how we tend to respect, uh, uh, you know, other cultures. Yeah. I, mm. I think that is something you don't get. Um, it, and it's only because it's only unique to Malaysia. Because mm. nobody mm. has it. Mm. You know, and I think this year we should all just sit down and I know we've been all through a lot we are mm. tired mm. but I think we just need to sit down and look at our uniqueness and and, and now, trust me we stand together we win together because exactly. that's really what it is and 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 um, I think it's the culture because for me uh, I have actually uh, like I, I went for like a Mali Ijra uh, celebration mm -hmm. uh, and 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 I realized there's so many different things that you do but at the end of the day it's all about praying for the well-being of you of you, you yourself your loved one and your 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 country. Well, that's I think amazing. That's I really love your words. <laughs> no, no, I feel like standing on the couch. Yeah, like, I know, right? Shouting like, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You guys have spoken a bit about your experience abroad. Mm. Like for me, uh, for example, yeah. I have not had the experience of working outside mm. or studying outside of Malaysia. So, do you guys do you guys ever see yourself settling outside of Malaysia? Honestly, I was just talking with this all my friends in overseas oh. because a lot of us we work in overseas and studies overseas. Hundred percent right. mm. of us agreed that we want to come back here for retirement. Wow. It, because for us, it's, it's like that. No? For retirement. Retirement, but again, that we won't let go of our citizenship. The thing is, why we go out and stuff is just to get things back from Malaysia. Mm. You get what I mean? Because sometimes I feel like sometimes we feel stuck here. You know, especially doing a lot of uh, industry and stuff. And we wanted to go and see other things and stuff. And I also encourage people from overseas to come and work in Malaysia. Mm. Because now it's rising. So we want to exchange talent so that it's globalization nowadays. Especially industry 4.0, right? So I was like, but you will find nowhere like home as Malaysia. Mm. Mm. It's like, be a way to know the value of it. Oh my god, yes. Mm. Oh, agree absolutely. that, you know. Yeah, we won't let go of Malaysia. But we have to go out and see more. Mm -hmm. That's my. That's my. How about your take on it? Uh, I think uh, yes. Uh, mm. I think when you come, you know, there's always a group. So don't worry. You you know you know. You will uh, get your chance. Trust you'll me. get your chance. He's, he's yeah, you will get. But but what I think it's really important is, mm. like she said, you need to be a way to order. You know, when to you do something. You know, to yes, I agree what is that. Going on. Yeah. You know, like for me now that if I even get a job of uh, overseas, uh. I I really don't think I was I will take it, and I have not taken it. I have mm. got like some offers recently because you realize that you you can make it so much better and you 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 know in mm. your own country and you know, it's a different feeling uh, very very different like, mm -hmm. very different when yeah. you make it in your own country because yeah. you're a proud Malaysian mm. exactly. and 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 I think uh, you know some people will say you know hujan emas di negeri orang you know hujan batu but lebih yeah. baik di uh, negeri sendiri and mm. negara sendiri and I and I think that is the truth because mm. it's it's a different feeling yeah. for us who have gone out there and mm. have seen what it is and when we come back. And then we realize, look, you know what? We will make it back here. Yeah, because we will. We know. Honestly. We know. You know <laughs> it, it. I mean, sometimes you know, you just uh. need that. That there may be hardships. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to deny it. Mm. Let's not uh, sugarcoat it. Mm. We may have all seen troubling times, mm -hmm. yeah. trying times, mm. things that may be of concern to us. Mm. But I, I think we have uh, forgot to focus on the good things. Mm. I think we, 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 we tend to focus on the, the, bad the bad things or the negative yeah. things more. And take it right? for granted. The and stuff and then we realise, wait a minute, this is my entitlement. Exactly. But did we think that this is our country? So mm. we should be doing something to make this better place exactly. for us. Yeah. Nothing, you don't have to do anything. You just have to make this a better place for yourself and yep. everything will fall into place. Mm. I couldn't agree. I couldn't agree more. Like seriously, those words have been, it's a totally, totally new 
new perception for me as mm. well, having this conversation with you guys. And um, not only you guys are, uh, you know, well spoken the way you present yourself, but Kokila, you were crowned uh, Miss Asia Millennium <laughs> you really Universe 2019. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to do that? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you're yeah. also the Give youngest and first woman chairperson at the Slangu Bar Council, right? And yes. uh, uh, Dr. Suisi, you are not only Malaysia's uh, Miss World Malaysia in 20, 2008, but you also have remarkable background. You have your degree, in, I mean PhD. I saw your whole biodata of you guys. Oh my God, I was like, yeah, what this is woman she? at is she... such a young age, how have you have accomplished so much? You know, this was the beauty queen world, right? Yeah, I was yeah, like, I know. Like, you know, it, it is a trait, you know. You know, beauty queen in Malaysia is so damn strong, you know. Yeah, I, like, I like how Irene goes like, you know, yeah, I was thinking yesterday, yeah, was only like, there was crowning done yesterday. I, I, I also <laughs> saw that. I was like, yesterday was another pageant was happening yeah, in Sabah. Yeah, 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 I, was, yeah. I was looking because uh, beauty queen, we always know. We always yeah. we always check. I was like, yes, yeah. But the thing is, I guess because we know that you know, especially women empowerment and stuff in Malaysia, we need that more. Mm. That's why we we went and fought it and stuff. And Malaysia, you know, that pageant world, it doesn't come like so naturally in in overseas where you get all the glamour and stuff. You have to fight yourself, mm -hmm. right? After you being crowned, whatever, if you don't go and find your chances, there's no job. Mm. It's not like overseas, right? So we've been through the hard path. So we never stop. I, I told all the new beauty queens and stuff, don't let the glamour get into your head. It's nothing. Mm. You have to strive after that. So, uh, like for us, I guess we went through the, the education path and all those things. I guess it's much more secure. Mm. Yeah. I, I think I think it's it's really that because following up from Prof, you know, um, I think we both, if you really look at it, our 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 uh, quite similar, portfolio right? is quite similar. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to give you all a guess. Maybe since we're we may yes. give you all a gift yes. as well. Yes. If yes. you all guess it correctly, yeah. it's that uh, we even. Though we we both knew that the the crown was a ten minute fame for us. Mine was you not know? one minute you know? fame. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go for a ten minute long. Because you know? that's an interesting yeah. backstory, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so <laughs> the interesting so, backstory. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. We, we felt like you know, but it's what it's a lifetime. Yeah the title that you yeah. can and we felt that um, I mean pageantry you see it, it is not an, uh, it's quite a stressful place it to is. be you and know? it's not but it is, it is a very um, it's a good uh, learning platform I would say yeah and honestly I guess that how many pageants you joined before? I joined like 20, 30 only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need mean, like, information. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I was like, I have to be very truthful. I was like, yeah. Oh my I, God. I bet, I bet. Well, was the same. I was like, <laughs> only two, only two. <laughs> but you like, accomplished so much. Yeah. What, what keeps you going? I think mm. your words mm. would really mean a lot to our audiences at mm. home mm. Um, who are facing so much of hardship, like yeah. you mentioned as well. I'm sure you're aware. Mm. Wow. And um, what... What encouragement can you give them? What keeps you going? What's the drive? Mm. Wow. And I, I want to know as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I think I think for me, yeah. I don't know about Prof, but for yeah. me, the drive was... See, um, a lot of it, I, I feel the reason why we then, from pageantry, then we moved on to something more like... Professional. Uh, the, to, to professionalism, is because at the end of the day, you need a mature voice even to put your pageantry voice. Yeah. Wow. See, pageant gives you that voice, yeah. right? Mm. But mm. for you to make that voice mm. a sensible one, uh, uh, a convincing one, mm. you need education. You need and I that. think that yeah. is why we both painstakingly right? yeah. did what we did. You know, because we feel that it's not, I mean, as much as all of us would love to mm -hmm. look like Barbie dolls, I'm yeah. sure I mean, everybody <laughs> will get you all dressed up, designer dress, yes, definitely. Nabil is probably like, hey, come on, yeah. <laughs> so I want to dress up as well. Maybe he wants to go for Mr. World. Mr. World. Mr. World. Yes. Yeah, we yeah, have yeah, we know. never know. Yeah, we but, know. But it's really the fact that you the minute you have actually uh, put yourself in education, mm. right? You know that 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 you will find a way out. Yeah. So that is what I think motivates me, Irene. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's like I know that uh, no matter what uh, obstacles or mm -hmm. hurdles I yeah. come. Uh, I know I, I'm going to sleep tomorrow morning and tomorrow's going to be a fresh day because I have a degree behind my, my Exactly. Wow. You know, and I think that that's why. So uh, no matter what you do in life, follow your passion. I'm mm. sure uh, Prof mm. is going to tell you the same thing. But always have a backing. A backing, a backing yeah. or something that you like. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't have to be like law, you know, yeah. but maybe you should, you know, like like doctor, you know, was telling <laughs> that she wants to go 20. back. Yeah, 20. So she can actually choose like, today what do I feel like? You know? But, uh, but what what I think yeah. is to have a backing because yeah. you know what COVID did to us was teach you exactly that it 
puts you off the ground. Yeah. Bit. You know, it puts you off the ground and you realise, wait a minute, what am I, yeah. who am I and what am I going to do? What's my purpose in life? Yeah. You know, and uh, I think when you have that option that say, like, okay, you know what, I have this behind my, mm. my name. I mean, I have this education. Yeah. I've done this before. Mm. Maybe it's something I want to look at. Yeah. Mm. So that is what keeps you going. Mm. When you have a backing, mm. Irene, trust me, you, you, you can will soar high. Feel, you, wow. you won't yeah. feel so demotivated yeah. because see when you 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 are stressed out only when you have nothing to look forward yeah, exactly to. so I, I think the simple advice today is just equip yourself mm -hmm. just keep growing maybe not 20 degrees no no no, 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 no. but uh, we, you know. we will move to <laughs> doctor's journey in a bit isn't it I, I, I'm intrigued wow a woman with <gasps> You know, I don't know. <laughs> but but definitely definitely just have a backing that yeah. you know that at the end of the day you have uh, you equipped yourself with yeah. mm -hmm. everything that uh, eventual possibilities. Mm. It could be something as 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 small as passion. Exactly. Like what I really wanted to do is at one point I was MCO. I was thinking of becoming a barrista because I love doing oh, coffee. Oh, that's art. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone was like, "Koki, you're a barrister at law. What are you doing, barrista?" barrista. <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, same thing, same name. You know, <laughs> <laughs> some pronunciation." Oh, that's a good choice, though. That's I know, choice. I know, I know. Choice, yeah. But but it's 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 about that really. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, my experience is uh, mm -hmm. honestly because uh, for me, I did law and. And all this thing is for my backup as well, but my passion is always music and all this. But doctor, you have like Sarah. 20 backups. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but, Thank you. But, you know, you know, my game is. I was like, you know, all this backup is. Of course, you have it and stuff, but don't take it for granted. You have to do mm. something. You know, I always say that even you have the backups and everything. If you don't do anything as well, so I see people who have education and stuff. They never make use of it. Mm. So a lot of times, I sell the courage because mm. they are they are not willing to fail. Like nowadays, we're guiding students and stuff. I can see them right progressing from master to PhD is the next level. You have to fail to see your result, to reinvent something. So a lot of them, if you stuck as a degree mindset or a diploma mindset, it's just very, very rigid. You haven't think out of the box. Mm. So like for us in academic or you know, even the industry, we're encouraging you all to fail to s at, at a lower scale here so that one day you're going to learn and go forward because you have to innovate. And nowadays mm -hmm. after COVID, all the formula you have to reinvent. Because it's a new world, mm -hmm. you know, you have to think, you, sometimes you cannot use the old way anymore. So a lot of times I would say that, you know, um, a lot of us agree that, you know, we've been through the pageant route and I lost a lot of times, but it's just that not giving up. You know, insist of what you want, you're going to get a lot of backstab or a lot of people are going to laugh at you. When, I, when, I, when back then I was telling my, you know, my friend, hey, I want to be the first Miss Malaysia to get PhD, everyone laughed. Mm. But oh. when I did it, I laughed back at them. <laughs> you yeah. get what I mean? And now you have two. Like, yeah. I was like, why are you looking down on girls? Mm. Or why are you looking down on Malaysian? I would say that, right? So I was like, Malaysia, boleh, that word, of course, you do it in a good way. It will happen mm. if you put your, your effort mm -hmm. inside. Yeah, but isn't that yeah, amazing? Yeah. Like, sometimes when you see the outside, the success yeah. of these two wonderful women, the strong women, or Malaysian women of 2022, really? you, you <laughs> see the success, but you don't actually count the failures. Oh my God, some, the failures. You guys have fallen. Oh my on your god! So many times. Yeah, 80, but they 80% don't failure. Know it. 80, 80. 80. 1 of 10% yeah. of, of success you see, you know? <laughs> you know, all the late nights, all the crying, yeah. all the argument. Mm -hmm. but, you know, you, but you have to break it because you have to lead the new generation. So you mm -hmm. cannot fall back. So always think about a bigger perspective. Don't just think about yourself. But speaking yeah. about the new generation, yes. because we were talking about how when we were children, yeah. we loved celebrating national yes, days. Yes, and yes. then we yeah. felt like we got a bit jaded yeah. as we grow yeah. older. Yes, yeah. yes. I would, I would agree with that, yeah. Mm. yeah. Future yeah. generation, mm. how do you guys think we should inculcate patriotism mm. in their hearts? Because these people, are, they are of a different generation. Very different. They do different. different things than Very we do. Different. I don't think what we do can expect think? 20 degrees from them. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. no. At the you moment. Know? Yeah, I mean, because recently we have a data, 72% of uh, SPM leavers don't want to go back to their education. Oh. So it's quite scary now. Oh. And, so, and yeah. we are also talking about the young, I mean, if oh. you, you all, I'm sure the Employment Act have been amended, you know, yes. to, to, to reflect a certain things. And, yeah. and you will realise that uh, even in the legal profession, mm. that the young graduates may not want to pursue. I saw that. Yeah. You know, it uh, may not want to pursue this this uh, practice because yeah. they feel that you know that time consuming, mm. the the stress is a bit high on that. You know, of course, liability as well. Mm. Uh, but for me, I think how do we get the young generation? Mm. Mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, see, um, people tend to like something that is. Uh, cheek something that is popular mm -hmm. unfortunately whether yeah. we like it or not so i think really to make back the our national day which is such an important 
day for all Malaysians back to its popular days. I, I mm. think that's the only way to, to make mm -hmm. or at least to create awareness among the young generation yeah. mm. because everybody will want to know when something is is, is great, mm. you know. Mm. And, and really, I think we sometimes uh, downplay our national mm -hmm. thing because yeah. it is a big thing mm. you know uh, you know you you see smiles you see heart smiles you know and I think it's a big thing you know so I, I think with young generation this time there should be a lot more programs mm. inclusive uh, like inclusive programs of actually putting them in you know to say like look uh, this particular program is just for youngsters to maybe like you know mm -hmm. quizzes you know to find out about I, I think that that will really make it like a great thing uh, yeah. for, for me you know because it's right you know, I, I do agree though since they like to play and since they mm. like a trend, make use of social media, True. make use of True. something which creates yeah. hashtag or something which is they felt in the game. Mm -hmm. So like young people, right, you, you don't go against them. They are mm -hmm. very brilliant actually. Their thinking is very brilliant. It's just that how to channel them back <laughs> into the right way. Because I also, like all the employers also told me that the same thing, you know, very hard to retain their talent because they are working for passion nowadays. So a lot of times, just play their game. They're going to be loyal to you. Yeah. Wow, mm. thank you so much for uh, sharing all those and actually sharing your story as well, though it, you might feel that it's a little off. But actually, I needed that because I think a lot of people at home needed that as well to show how as a Malaysian family and our own Malaysian people as well, remarkable woman bringing in success. Um, many, 20 success actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this is something inspiring and I love how you actually share your stories with us and I think uh, we feel more empowered and more inspired by uh, both your backgrounds as well. And I hope, you know, being it celebrating National Day, uh, apart from patriotism, you also work to bring in uh, life and love and as well as success within yourselves as well. Just take it from them. 